so the first topic in your module 5 is cellular wireless networks okay so what is meant by cellular wireless network the cellular wireless network can be defined as a communication network where the link between your source and the destination is wireless in nature okay the transfer of information between the source and the destination is wireless in nature okay uh, the main concept of the cellular wireless network relies in the uh, fact that the large geographical area will be divided into small areas that is called as cell okay so the cell is generally hexagonal in shape so why what is the reason it is taken as hexagonal in shape is in order to uh, cover the large area for example if it is a circle in shape there are small areas in between which cannot be covered right so this is a reason why the cell structure is taken as hexagonal in shape okay so all these different cells will have base stations a uh, base station is nothing but a tower which consists of an antenna and a computer okay and a system which controls all the mobile stations uh, or your mobile station is nothing but your mobile handsets in that particular area okay so this is just an introduction about your um, cellular wireless network the wireless communication system can be uh, divided into different uh, generations right based on the different generation as 1g 2g 3g 4g and 5g so in the case of 1g it comprises of the old uh, voice oriented analog and cordless phone whereas 2g consisted of voice oriented digital cellular and pcs and data oriented vans and lands right 3g it was integrated uh, cellular and pcs with packet switch data services in 4g your bandwidth was very high higher speed user friendly secure applications etc so 5g 5g is uh, yet to be launched in india so in the case of cellular telephone system you have two ways of communication one is mobile to mobile communication and the second one is mobile to landline communication okay so each uh, let, uh, let us assume that this is your cell 1 cell 2 and cell 3 which consists of its base station the base station is nothing but an antenna with a computer which will control all the mobile station so these mobile units are called as mobile station so base station 1 will control all the mobile stations coming under its area where, whereas your base station 2 will control all the mobile station coming to its area whereas mobile station sorry base station 3 uh, will control all the mobile station coming to its area so basically it consists of an antenna and a, a system or a control or a small office which will control all the mobile station okay so all these base stations in turn will be connected to msc msc is called as mobile switching center which will keep track of all the base station as well as the pstn now the reason why it is connected to your pstn public switch telephone network is for mobile to landline communication see here if i want to make a call from mobile to a landline it is communicating through your public switch telephone network which will be connected to in turn to your stationary phone okay so this is your overall uh, structure of your cellular telephone system which consists of mainly uh, four uh, components one is your mobile station the mobile station is nothing but your mobile handset second one is your cell cell uh, which is a uh, distance is about 5 to 20 km that is your cellular service area your uh, third one is you nothing your base station the base station uh, so base station is nothing but an antenna controlled by a small office okay and the fourth uh, component is your mobile switching center or your msc so all the base station is controlled by your msc okay so the next topic is going to be your cellular concept and frequency reuse okay so in the case of cellular concept and frequency reuse you are going to study 1 2 3 4 four different uh, concepts one is your frequency reuse second one is your reduction of your interference third one is your transmitting and receiving of the ca calls fourth one is your mobility management so these are the four concepts you are going to study okay so what is meant by frequency reuse first one so see here this is an example of the cellular concept in wireless and mobile network so here is your cell structure geograph the large geographical area will be Uh, divided into your cells which is hexagonal in shape but here you can see that these cells are 
uh, bigger in size whereas these coming down these cells are smaller in size so okay so is this indicates that this is your remote area so in the case of remote area uh, the number of users are less compared to that of a city right or urban area where the subscribers are more so in this case in the case of remote areas the large cell can be utilized whereas as the uh, users increases you can divide the cell into smaller cells that is these smaller cells uh, denotes for high density traffic areas okay so this is the major concept so uh, what is meant by frequency reuse is the total available channel will be divided into channel sets see here available channels are divided into number of channel sets these are your channel sets a b c d e f um, g etc okay each channel is assigned to a cell so each cell will be assigned uh, the um, channel okay so cells with the same alphabet use the same channels uh, this is an example of your frequency reuse where this group of cells is called as a cluster so this uh, group is called as a cluster 1 for example this is your cluster 1 see here the channel set here you have channel set a b c d e f g this is a single cluster where you are using different channels okay so the same uh, channel sets can be used uh, in the different cluster for example the channel a is used in the channel this is your cluster 2 for example if this is your cluster 2 the same channel a is used in cluster 1 cluster 2 and cluster 3 okay so with one condition so what is a condition cells with the same alphabet use the same channel so the same alphabet uses the same channel the condition is that this should be by a distance apart so this cell and both alike cell should be uh, with some minimum distance that distance d is equal to root 3 into n into r so what is this d d is your reuse distance and n is your number of channel sets what is your n in this case number of how many number of uh, channel sets you have seven so n is equal to seven in this case of example that is the cells in the cluster and what is your r r is nothing but the radius of the cell so this is your radius from the center radius of the cell so this is your uh, equation or the minimum distance that is um, required uh, for using the same channel or else it will lead to interference it is called as co-channel interference so it should not be adjacent to each other it should not be nearer to each other that is the uh, condition so this is called as your frequency reuse okay so the next topic is your second uh, cellular concept is reduction in interference so i have already mentioned that interference is nothing but if you use the same channels uh, the same set of channels if they are nearer it will lead to co-channel interference there are two ways in which it can be uh, reduced so what is the first way as we have mentioned before the separation of two co-channel cells with sufficient distance so it should be uh, spaced with a distance d is equal to root 3 n into r okay this is the first option what is the second option by using the directional antennas at the base station so directional antennas can be used at the base station this concept is called as sectoring so what is meant by sectoring is if you have a, a hexagonal uh, cell you can divide the cell into different sectors means your radius will remain the same but you can uh, divide this into different sectors so the two popular uh, sectoring uh, division is 120 degree and 60 degree okay so the radius will remain the same you can divide the cells into uh, different uh, parts that is called as sectors sectoring 120 either 120 degree which will con uh, consist of three sectors and 60 degree which will consist of six sectors so there is one advantage where over the uh, small cells compared to that of the large cell is when you use the large cell you should use high power is required high power antennas are required whereas in the case of small cells low power antennas are required so only less power is required so the next topic is transmitting and receiving of the cellular phone network so this uh, explains the procedure in which an user one has to call to another user uh, two okay so for example let me explain it using a diagram so let us consider that you have a user 1 okay so if this is your user 1 okay 
so who has to make a call to another user two okay so if this is uh, the user one okay who is under the control of one base station okay so this will be the base station in which this mobile station is being controlled okay so you have this base station internally connected intern connected to your msc or your mobile switching center so this mobile switching center will be in turn connected to lot of other base stations right so th these are the different base stations which are for example which are connected which are controlled by this msc so you have lot of mobile stations okay under the uh, coverage of this uh, base stations so this is base station 1 base station 2 base station 3 base station 4 so here also you have similarly you have this base station controlling all the mobile stations okay lot of mobile stations here also you have lot of mobile stations okay now here is the user 2 to which your user 1 is being making a call okay so this is user 2 under your base station 3 okay so this is your example for example so how is the call is being established so first procedure what it does is the mobile station or the uh, caller just uh, enters the 10 digit number okay that is nothing but your phone number will be entered that is your first procedure phone number will be entered and once this phone number is entered it will be giving uh, it will be passing the message to your base station the nearest base station under which this mobile station is under control okay this base station will relay or will send the message to your msc so this will be your second step okay for it will it will give a call request okay request for a call now what this msc will do is the msc will be giving uh, will be sending uh, the request to all other base stations so this is your third step so this third step is called as your paging okay so sending the mobile identification number to all other base stations to make uh, to see if which uh, mobile station is matching with this number so this procedure is called as paging so what is uh, the paging can be defined as a procedure to find out the subscriber's location before the actual call establishment okay so this is a very important concept so now what your user 2 will do the user 2 will identify the number and will give the uh, acknowledgement to the base station that is the nearest base station under which it is in control and the base station will give the acknowledgement will forward it to the msc okay so there are two types of channels one is called as forward control channel what is meant by forward control channel means if the data is passed from the base station to the mobile station then it is called as forward control channel whereas if the information is passed from the mobile station to the base station it is called as reverse control channel okay so what is this uh, from the B ms that is from the mobile station to the base station it is called as reverse okay control channel so once it gets the acknowledgement once the msc gets the acknowledgement now what the msc will do the msc will check for a free voice uh, channel and it will allocate and such that the call will be established or it is also called by handshaking means the call establishment so this is the process by which your transmitter and uh, transmission and the reception in your cellular technology takes place okay the last topic is your mobility management so what is meant by mobility management is the um, process of two techniques that is handoff management as well as location management combined together and it will form mobility management that is managing the handoff and managing the location so what is meant by handoff management <coughs> for example if you have uh, a user which is under the control of cell a is walking now is walking and talking in the phone and it is he is he has crossed the a cell area of a and he is uh, entering into the 
cell area B. Okay. So what uh, what will uh, now the control will go to the B. This is called as handoff. Moving from one area to the other cell area is called as your handoff. From the one base station to the other base station is called as handoff. What is meant by location? Location means uh, a procedure that is used to keep track of user's current location that is called as location management. So this handoff can be again divided into two types. One is your hard handoff and the second one is called as your soft handoff. So what is meant by ha ha hard handoff means when a user moves from A to uh, cell B, okay, from base station 1 to base station B. Now this mobile station will keep contact with only one uh, base station at a time. So when it is before it is moving to uh, or before it is get, getting the control of base station 2 the connection of this A will be cut that is called as hard handoff this was used in early systems so that the call can be dropped right so <coughs> or the communication will be broken this is called as hard handoff but whereas in the case of soft handoff nowadays what is happening even if we move from one cell area to the other cell area the mobile station will communicate between both the what a base station base station 1 and base station 2 the mobile switching center will take care of it what will happen when it is moving uh, from from a to b towards some point the connection will be dropped uh, from a but at the same time the connection will be already established by b so that we uh, uh, there will be no uh, problem in any uh, call okay so connection will be still there without any connection drop we will be able to move from one location to another location that is called a soft that is called a soft handoff okay so the next one is your location management whereas it is concerned with the roaming or location updating and paging so whereas in this case suppose if your mobile is moving from one location area to another uh, foreign area that is from one maybe for example from one state to another state what will happen it performs a location updating procedure by making an association between the foreign agent and the home agent okay so these are the uh, topics covered in the first section in the next video we will see the second section of your module 5